Hey, Snackers, this is Kareem Iskander. Hey, everyone, Matt the Napoli here. Welcome to episode 144 of Snack Minute. Uh, another Kareem and Matt only episode, which I'm always excited for. But, Kareem, I heard some news. I've heard that you guys are uh, kind of updating the blueprint to the CCNA, which is kind of, it's huge, brother. What, what, uh, can you get into some details? We looked at what's happening in the market today. We looked at how much of an impact it's going to be for the folks that are going to be doing the CCNA. And we just made a very minor update to our CCNA blueprint. And if you look at the, the, the changes, two things, right? We incorporated cloud and automation with Terraform, which oh, is, cool. I think, where we are today, Matt, um, from that level of in our career, um, I would say, if you are automating in the real world, you should be, you should have an understanding of what Terraform is. You should have an understanding of the difference between Ansible, Terraform, and pure Python. What is the pros and cons and when to use them where, right? Yeah. And so we want to be able to kind of give our um, certification holders that that say I'm CCNA, the, the, the validation that they understand these topics. And so that's why we made that minor change. And then everybody's talking about this and we've been talking about this and um, AI, right? And so mm-hmm. how, how is, what is AI doing in, from a network engineering perspective? What, what yeah. just at a CCNA level, you know, we want to be able to, to have you under, have the basic understanding of things like what's the difference between Gen AI and predictive AI, right? Yeah. Um, we see predictive in again in our level at our level in our career today, we see, you know, predictive AI in in in, in all of our products and the majority of Cisco products. And then we're bringing in Gen AI. So like you got to be able to understand that in the market. And so you can have these intelligent conversations and build on these skill sets. So we've gone from, you know, if you look at the blueprint, we've gone from CCNA version 1.0 to CCNA version 1.1. And so it's okay. a minor update and as expected in as we've promised in the in in our kind of certification roadmap uh, update, we said that anytime we do a minor update, there's only a certain percentage that's going to change and, and that's what we're doing. And so it's nothing, it's, you know, if, if you are currently in your journey to, to attempt your CCNA, um, no reason to stop. Um, it's a minor mm-hmm. update. Uh, topics you should already be familiar with and they are something that you, you've heard us talk about for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's it. I. I'm excited for for not just you guys to put it out, but um, for those uh, students and learners that are going through the certification process. Um, you know, I think that there's sometimes uh, over the past few years like that that differentiation between well, what am I doing in my CCA as a practitioner, and what am I doing in my automation uh, space as a practitioner? Do I need to do one or the other? And, and on, honestly, our answer historically would have been, well, you should potentially do both, like go down DevNet associate path, go down CCNA path. Right. Um, and then you can combine those tasks. But I, I like to see that we're doing a little bit of that bleed into the CCNA because those automation notions, um, you can't get away from them now. It's like, no. that's the direction things are going. So let's, let's, uh, let's hook them earlier in the process. Um, we wouldn't have been able to do this a few years ago. I mean, there were so many different choices in the automation platforms that um, I think it would have been hard to kind of say definitively, oh, we need to do Terraform, oh, we need to do Ansible. Um, now I think the the landscape has changed. So that's super um, helpful, I think, for our um, audience that, that that are going through these things, that, that those have kind of bubbled up to the top and that's what that focus is. And then as far as the AI stuff is concerned, um, I mean... I know we kind of sit here and it sounds like this big catchphrasey thing and everyone's a little bit tentative to jump into it. But, right. um, you know, I'm foreseeing at least uh, like for a- IT operations, I really think that um, the Gen AI stuff on top of the predictive AI insights um, is going to be uh, super helpful in people doing their jobs 
um, not just faster, but better. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I think everyone's worried about this, like, oh, hey, it's going to take my job. No, it's going to help you do your job faster and better. It's going to be uh, one of those things that I think um, this isn't an evolution. I think we're at the beginning of a revolution. So, um, you know, you guys at Learning and Cert seeing that and, and tap it into it with the certification, I think is brilliant. Yeah, and, and we want to make sure that our certification holders have that skill set when they go out, mm-hmm. right? To, to, to again, yeah. like I said, to be able to have that. You're doing them a service. Mm-hmm. And where so it's updating that makes just a lot of sense. Um, also, just, you know, if you're watching this episode and you want to know dates, I'll, I'll make sure that we have the, the link to, our, to the all of the information on the site there. But um, August 19th is the last day you can take the CCNA version 1.0, uh, August 20th is the kind of the, where we roll over to 1.1. Um, again, it's very minor, so it's not a, it's, it's not, you're not changing your strategy to passing your CCNA. You should just continue as it is. Um, yeah. Let's bring in uh, Patrick Gargano, who is working on our yeah. side with uh, the content engineers to, to update our training and to show you snackers what we have out there for you from a training perspective for the latest uh, blueprint of our certification. And we've had Patrick on before uh, going through a couple of other blueprints. So he gets really excited about that content. I always love having him on. Yes. Um, wonderful. Um, so Kareem, um, I'm really excited about uh, the CCNA 1.1 update. Um, all the stuff that you talked about adding in, I think is really exciting. So um, snackers, um, challenge yourself, uh, and on August 20th, uh, go ahead and <laughs> take that new exam, uh, and we'll, uh, see you next week. Thanks, Matt. Thank you, snackers.